Hey, it's time for face to face. Hey, it's time for face to face. Hey, it's time for face to face. It's face to face time with me. We're talking about E3, and I'm gonna have some coffee, and we're gonna, yeah, all that fun. Okay, that was the weirdest intro I've ever done. Give me a second while I take a sip. Ah, what's going on, everybody? <laughs> You know me, I'm insane, what can I say? It's Elemental Storm, we're talking E3. I wanna talk about four main things. Now, unfortunately, I was all psyched up because I thought that the Share Factory was all set up because I could do video commentary too, and I was all set to put my face, but then for some reason, as I started making this video over and over and over again, uh, I don't know maybe if there's something like up with that, but I guess it's something that's still working on, and I can't show my face yet. Uh, so face-to-face -face is kind of more voice-to-face, <laughs> voice <to -face, laughs> I guess you could call it. But soon enough, we'll get it fixed. I mean, like I said, it looks like they're doing something with it, uh, so this could be a good thing. But anyway, let's get right into it. So E3 last night. First off, Sony, if you do see this, uh, well, first off, fix Share Factory, please, so I can start doing my video thing. And second off, thank you so much for the thing that you threw throughout the states of uh, the showing the theater experience, basically, for the E3 show. I thought that was amazing. Thank you so much. That was something that, you know, a lot of us PlayStation fans... That was just very, very cool. And thank you for the gift basket, by the way, too. That was some really cool stuff in there. I'm really excited about that. But let's get right into it. All right, I'm going to go right to the first thing that blew my mind. So Shuhei Yoshida comes out after Little Big Planet 3, which, by the way, I've definitely got to check out. I've never got a chance to play Little Big Planet, but I think this is something that my wife, myself, will enjoy a lot. So we could definitely do some really cool videos with that um, and some cool Twitch stuff and things like that. Um that he came out and he said if you know me and this next game is so close to my heart it's not even funny i knew right off the bat no i've been following uh, shuhei for a while he's a fantastic guy he's a he's a video game geek just like us and that is a great thing to have um in, like i said this is the big thing about playstation this is all about the gamers and having uh, you know uh, shuhei on there and talking about that i knew it and as soon as i saw maker of Demon Souls and Dark Souls and From Software pop up. I think I was the loudest in the entire theater because I went ballistic. We're talking a Van Helsing-ish, I mean that coat, that hat, that undead shotgun looking thing in this very gothic Victorian setting with undead dogs and undead people and oh my gosh, if this is anything like the Dark Souls series, and it does it right as an RPG, as a new game plus, as, oh my god, it's just, it's going to be amazing. They're supposed to be talking about it more this week, so I'm really looking forward to all information I can find on this game, because it, I, it, oh, it's going to be a day one buy, without a doubt. Because I love the Dark Souls series, and I swear, you know, I, I want to play two more, but unfortunately I love playing my PS4. <laughs> so, I, you know, it's always that jump back from there to there and stuff like that. But I really want it on a next-gen console, and now it looks like we're going to get something that is going to be like Dark Souls on next-gen. Now let's go right to the next one, No Man's Sky. I saw this game in last E3. It really caught my eye. And then, unfortunately, their studio went through that hellacious situation where uh, they got flooded. And a lot of people thought that might have been the end of things because like, it looked like a lot of their stuff was destroyed. But... But uh, fortunately, not even unfortunately, fortunately, every stuff was saved. Nobody was harmed. This was, you know, and then on top of that, they're still plugging away at this game because they showed a trailer last night, a gameplay trailer of this that blew my mind. You went from exploring this beautiful looking, almost like watercolor painted land with these creatures and like... You were, uh, the, the land exploration looked awesome. Then he got into the ship after like this big thing started knocking trees down and was coming after him. Then he flew right up into space, like shot through some asteroids to fly through it, got into this like combat situation. All these like these enemy ships started like phasing in from like hyperspeed. It was just like boom, 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 boom. And then went back down on another planet as he chased like the, the remaining, some remaining ships and stuff like that. And then went down on another planet. And then they showed off like everything. And the biggest thing about all this is the most revolutionary thing. And if this works, this company is going to go places, I can tell you right now. If this works, this is going to be amazing. Everybody that starts the game is going to have their own procedurally generated planet. Nobody is going to have the same experience. On top of that, we're also talking about the fact that 
you're you're almost building a book like a tome of information on this whole entire game because as i was watching it people were discovering things on their own planet and stuff this game is gonna rock oh and forgive me for a second here the game you're looking at is called pixel junk shooter it was free on the playstation plus very cool game i don't know for sure if i said that or not already but anyway it's a very cool game i'll be doing a have you played on it um and once I get you know more into it and stuff, I've been playing a little bit, as you can see here. Uh, it's a lot of fun, really cool physics. As you can see, that water just looks amazing. So let's get right into the next thing. Uh, Grand Theft Auto V coming for PS4. Yes, we were all hoping this was gonna happen, and it is. Now, the, the one thing that really blew my mind is that um, they said that you could take your online character or even I think all your information from uh, even your 360 and your PS3 and put it on your PS4. That's going to be amazing. I will have no problem playing that game over again and doing all the storyline stuff over again. I'm going to 100% that now, definitely, without a doubt. Uh, that, is a, that is a big, huge thing. And especially with the heist coming and everything else, we're going to have so much fun with that and I could stream it and it's oh it's going to be it's going to be amazing. Not that I don't stream it already, but now I'll be able to stream it right through Twitch through the PS4 which I just love that system so much. Even better than my capture card, I love it. I think they just did such a remarkable job. Let's finish it off with something unbelievable. Batman Arkham Knight. Now this is what I'm talking about. This is next gen. We start out by Batman walking out and looking at Gotham and Gotham looked absolutely beautiful. It looked huge. Then he glides through Gotham, and you see all the things going on, like you know enemies and stuff like that. Calls the Batmobile, jumps right into the Batmobile. No loading screens, no nothing, no cutscenes, nothing. Just straight out, boom, in the Batmobile, driving the Batmobile, smashing through some concrete. So you got destruction. Turning the Batmobile into a tank with like all these weapons and stuff. And this was really cool because of the lore, fighting these like almost like automated drone like assault vehicles or something of that nature and stuff. So not killing anybody because that was what everybody feared. Like, why are you going to have all these weapons in the Batmobile if you're not like, you know, you're Batman. You're not supposed to be killing anybody. That's the big thing about Batman. He's a vigilante that never kills. So doing that, then jumping out of the Batmobile, getting into a full on combat situation, classic, you know, Batman, the fighting and stuff that Rocksteady has always been popular for. And then going right into what looked to be a storyline based mission or whatever the fact you saw Penguin, you saw a little cutscene with Penguin and stuff like that. No loading, full seamlessness. Um, yeah, it is going to be amazing to say the least. All right, um, so that's that. Those are my main four things that I was so happy about seeing this last night. Hey, Sony, again, thank you so much for the theater experience. It was a blast. Definitely a once-in-a-lifetime thing that I loved. I, I'm, obviously, I'm not getting E3 anytime soon, so being able to do that was just amazing. Uh, we had a blast. Thank you so much for the gift basket. And uh, hopefully it fixed the share factory so I can start doing some more face-to-face -face stuff. Uh, beyond that, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. You know, like, subscribe, comment. Let's talk about E3. And come to Twitch. We're all talking about E3 throughout the week and stuff and everything we saw and everything we really can't wait for and everything like that. So, yeah, uh, that's that. So I will talk to you guys later. All right. Take care.